taken, probably taken before 1920. Um, but it might have been after they got married, I'm not really sure. Picture of Ethel uh, Driscoll af after they were married, probably sometime uh, in the 19th. What I see in Mom's pictures is that I see a little bit of her in, all, in everybody uh, in the family. With her three older boys, Jack, Bill, and Bob, uh, taken uh, in the in this picture, I believe, was taken at the end of the 1920s. And I'm not sure what house they were living in. It uh, taken at the same time as that one with his with his brothers and mom. This was when he was it was his graduation from high school picture. One of the best looking guys around at the time. Taken when he graduated from high school, which was I'm, I think in the year 1941, and he went off to the Navy. When she graduated from nurses' training, and at that time and for many years after, she was one of the best-looking girls around. <laughs> About World War Three. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get other dearly, but they never saw a fight they didn't like. <laughs> Green still at the time, and, and Ethel Driscoll just before. Jack came home and, they, and Jack and Lorraine got, were great buddies and when Jack was gone they hung around together a lot and uh, kept each other out of trouble. Jack in the Navy went into the Seabees because he was colorblind and got transferred into the uh, medical corps. North Africa when, when uh, his dad died, our dad died at, uh, in 1942. When he was on the highway patrol, this is the picture I wanted to put in the paper when he died and they wouldn't let me because they said the picture was too old and Jack got married I think. Picture Lorraine Driscoll. Lorraine Driscoll. And at the Columbia Gardens, as usual, I think he looks like he was about maybe four years old at the time. Jack was, uh, I think, probably the, the pet early in Jack's naval career, not too long after he joined. But you can see he was a good looking sailor. Probably taken as an identification picture, one of those ones that you put on cards. But I have no idea. It's probably in about the second grade, I believe. Uh, we used to always have pictures taken in school. Early about the time they got married, which was in June of 1950. They pretty much as we see him today. Bill goes from a little bit overweight to uh, taking off a few pounds. Be on vacation somewhere. I'm not sure where it is, but it was taken sometime in the last few years. And he's little taken just a few years ago. You never know whether he's going to have a beard or not. Not. <laughs> it was his high school graduation picture. He graduated in uh, 1946 from Butte High School. It's a picture of Mary Driscoll, Mary Silver was her name, when, uh, about the time they got married. A very pretty girl, too. The star of our show is Danny Driscoll, when he uh, was applying for uh, dental. He taken when he was only a couple of years old, was taken because he wasn't in the picture with Bob and Bill and Jack with their mom. Driscoll uh, in the Navy, uh, airplane mechanic, got him ready for his position area. Yeah, what airplanes? Corsair uh, F-4U aircraft on the USS Bataan in the Korean Gulf when I was in about the second grade and the reason why everybody always said, poor Danny. So when I was approximately second or third grade, in a little bit better mood, not so quiet, forlorn. Emmett Sullivan and Ethel Driscoll. Emmett Sullivan is the one who wrote Sentimental Rose with Butter Driscoll. And uh, uh, obviously about the same size as Dad. Nobody ever could tell me whatever happened to him. He left Butte. And, and Emmett Sullivan's wife was taken on top of the Francis Hotel, which is one of the speakeasies back in the 1920s. And her oldest boy, Jack, that was taken also in front of the St. Francis Hotel, in front of the speakeasy. With, with uh, Ethel at that time, and, and uh, when she was visiting her friend down at the speakeasy, he got to wearing a fur coat, which was pretty much commonplace in those days. Everybody had fur coats. In front of the St. Francis, it was also called the Francis Cafe by various names and listed in the evening in front of the Francis Cafe. It was listed as a hotel at the time or as a cafe of uh, uh, Ethel Driscoll and, and Emmett Sullivan's wife. Uh, I don't know what her first name was. In front
front of the Driscoll and uh, with a dog in front of the Francis Cafe and the dog has a pipe in his mouth and that was what a real thing told me. So he still remembered that when he grew up, huh? Yeah. Well, you can uh, J.P. Kane taken on the front porch of Grandma Driscoll's house. With Sullivan and his wife uh, with Jack Driscoll in the front taken out in front of the Francis Cafe. Running board of what I think is a Maxwell, probably Grandpa Driscoll's car, probably taken uh, the club. background behind the car. Picture of uh, Ethel and, and Jack Driscoll taken in front of the Francis Cafe. That place looks pretty much. They're taken on top of the Francis Hotel, and the lady in it is uh, Mrs. Sullivan and the, and with Mom. I'm trying to think how old he would have been. Born in 23, that's about 1925, I guess, 26. Bethel Driscoll had probably taken out in front of the St. Francis too. The fence looks pretty much the same. Prob probably taken in the in the early 1920s. Still another picture of Jack uh, by himself taken in front of the Francis Hotel, Francis Cafe. Of uh, one of the Laden girls, either Virginia or Bibbs, probably Bibbs Laden. And Ms. Gallagher, and I think the two, uh, the Laden girls, uh, uh, Bibbs and Virginia. Okay, I've taken it's uh, Grandpa Driscoll and Miss Gallagher. Yeah. Jewel Laden, and I, I believe it must be her two girls, uh, Bibbs and Virginia. Take Driscoll and J.P. Kane taken on the front porch of Grandpa Driscoll's house on West Broadway Street. Uh, taken on. Uh, the Laden's front porch. The two ladies in their way in the back are Miss Jill Laden, and the little girl is Bibbs Laden, and then Fritz Kane is uh, in the middle with Uncle Bill down in front of her, and Ed Laden in front of him, and Mrs. Uh, Laden, or, uh, Grandma Driscoll, Fritz Kane, and Mrs. Laden holding uh, Virginia Laden. Is uh, Ed Laden in the very front with Uncle Bill Driscoll behind him? And Julia Layden uh, holding uh, Virginia Layden. Knows Ed Layden in the front, Uncle Bill Driscoll behind him, Grandma Driscoll holding uh, Virginia Layden. There's Grandma Driscoll, Fritz Kane, and uh, Grandma Layden, uh, Ed Layden's mother. Uh, Jill Kane, Jill Layden rather, with uh, Virginia and, and Bibbs Layden, Virginia on the right. Driscoll holding uh, Bibbs Layden. I don't know where this one was taken though. Probably down in South Maine. A picture of Jack uh, taken on South Main Street, which is where they lived when he was born. Okay. What you what did you cook? Hot dog. On the left, Bill on the right, and I'm I don't know if that's Scotty Weatherstone or not in the middle, but he was one of the kids that grew up with him. West Galena. The piano apartments? Yeah, I think they call them that because there was posts in front. Of Actually them. lived in them? Uh, there seemed to be a grouping of musicians there at the time. Probably didn't laugh. What I can really identify in there was my brother Bill right in front and the girls, I think one of them is one of the late. It's the Columbia Gardens. Mm -hmm. uh, when they lived on West Galena Street in the, about the 700 block on West Galena in this. Sure of, uh, the only ones I know for sure is Jack and Bill in the front. Bill is a baby and the other two kids were just nailed. Bill's, uh, the, the two on the left are Jack and Bill. Bill is probably six months and Jack's two years older than him. I don't know. Bill. About the same time you know, when Bill was six months old, I have no idea where the, where the picture was taken though. That's Jack and Bill there, but I don't know if the lady or the kid is. Uh, Bill, the baby, and Jack in the front there. I don't know who the lady and the other kid are. There's a picture of Bill when he was a baby and taken where the other picture was. I have no idea when, where it was. Here at Columbia Gardens, a picture of Bill when he was what, about two years old, I guess. Is that Bill or Dad? That's Bill. Tall ready? <laughs> <laughs> Go on horse up at uh, Sun River. 
That's a cow down. Is that a cow? It's <laughs> <laughs> one of Bethel Larkin's husbands. I'm not sure if it was her second or third husband. And that was taken, uh, taken probably in front of Grandma Driscoll's house. 